Well, hello everybody. My name is Sway. Today, let's talk about a really interesting topic called "Why People Might Not Like You." Now, you can see on a lot of pages and a lot of people, they could say that you don't have to care about what others think about you. But this is a kind of topic that's usually really, really important because you must know what others think about you so that you can try to know more about them and to see what are making them really uncomfortable about you so that you could help to bring your relationships better or closer. Well, how can we actually do this? And how can we make sure that there are nothing for people to dislike me? Well, let's look at these points. Our first one, oversharing on social media. Did you ever found out that somebody on your Instagram makes your non-fictions gross for like several times just because of their silly post of pictures and sharing of funny videos <coughs> and the same thing could also happen to you usually in social media if you're a person who posts too much information about yourself too much picture about your daily life like one day you can post from three to five pictures that is too much and people could think that it is really really uncomfortable and that is just trying to showing off your daily life and oversharing on social media could also be a problem because oversharing your information out Maybe sometimes could help a lot of scammers to look forward to you too. So over sharing on social media is dangerous in various ways. And the most important way is that people might dislike you a lot. Well, our next one we have here is humble brag. Well, look at this one. We have is the word humble. Humble is not arrogant and imagine if somebody is saying, oh, you're so smart, <coughs> you can say, oh, I'm not that smart. That is you being humble. Brag. Brag is to show off by words. You show off what you have in an unknown way that people usually doesn't like. So what is humble brag? It is a kind of way of showing off that may sound humble, but a lot of people think that it's just some kind of dirty bragging. Like your friend, she could maybe say, Oh, did you know that my new work as the school president is so stressed out that I lost nearly 10 pounds and it can't fit into my old jeans? Well, as for usual people, as for as some people, they think that this is saying that they're facing a really big depression. But if you are just a usual person, then you would translate their bragging as my job was so, so, so cool. And I've lost 10 pounds because of exercising a lot. Is that so cool? <laughs> and that is the way of people understanding your humble bragging. So never try to humble brag because it just is making you to look really arrogant and not fitting into people's eyes. Next, not smiling. People would usually like the person that's on a good mood or are positive, especially when they are because they never want their mood to decrease 
They never want the mood to be sad. They never want to be angry. Never want to be sad. Never want to be mad. Of course. And if you're not smiling, it will affect not to your own feelings, but also to your partner's feeling. And it could be a way for them to dislike you a lot, because you ruined their feelings. And it could be a way for them to dislike you. So try to smile a little bit, like not always smiling, but smile in the correct time. Or next word we have here is constantly criticizing others. When other people are sharing about their idea, all you think about is criticizing, but not saying the good parts. People, in fact, dislike all the people that criticize their own opinions. They think that it's rude and it's not polite at all, and they constantly criticize others. And people who constantly criticize them will take <coughs> those people a lot. Imagine your friend made out a project. It was both good and bad. At first, you're saying some sentences to describe about the good parts of the project, but then whoosh, a big essay is spoken on just. Criticizing your friend's idea, your friend will probably hate you after that. And our last one we have is faking emotions. Do you ever see somebody that, when they talking to their friends, they really really happily talking and they talking in a really soft tone, but when some stranger suddenly call them, they be like, "What are you doing here?" Get out of my way, and then come back to the friends like nothing happened. That is a way of being an actress that nearly nobody likes or nobody really loves. And by faking your emotion, it could make you to look like a person who always would want to please other by your feelings. So today we've talked about the five top things as the reason why people might not like you. I hope that this will help you a lot on your journey to find out what is the best for you in your life. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye and see you next time.